Hey, it's Daniel and welcome back to my studio. So I want to give an update on what's been going on with the Atelier. I literally just finished my third week being an atelier program. So we're almost there on the month mark. And at first on the previous video, I had mentioned that I had no way of communicating with my teacher or the teachers at the Sadie Valeria Atelier. And what I did since at first I wanted to just go forward and do the lessons and I thought I was gonna be able to measure if I was succeeding or failing those assignments and I realized that was not the case that I was not gonna be able to be able to judge myself and I really would have been doing a disservice to myself. So what I did is that I joined the online forum on the Atelier. Since it is all online, um, I was able to submit to my first two um, assignments, I guess you can call them homework assignments, that's how I think about them, like they're homework assignments for me. Um, so I submitted the first two, that's actually one of them right there, I have another one um, over there, and they were basically, the first one was circle construction, and the second one, which is this one up here on the board, was sphere outline construction. And it's literally what's that? circles and spheres and to be honest I started the program really enthusiastic I mean I'm still I am very enthusiastic about it I'm really pumped but I didn't think it was gonna get to that level I didn't think I was gonna start with the basic basic I expected maybe like something a little bit more advanced a little bit more challenging and then I came to realize oh no we're gonna start with a circle and I'm gonna be honest I thought it was the most ridiculous thing out there. I was like, why am I gonna start doing a circle? I know how to do a circle. I can get a compass, I can get a cup, I can get a plate, I can just, I can get a coin. I mean, I can, I can do it. I know how to do a circle. I I mean, come on, I'm, I'm not in kindergartner. Then I tried doing a circle freehand. They look hideous. <laughs> and I was upset and I was angry and I thought I was stupid because I couldn't do a circle. I couldn't draw a circle. So for the longest time I had been used to holding a pencil a specific way. And one of the very very first fundamental lessons was how to hold a pencil in a different manner and how to hold the pencil in such a way where you're not putting such pressure on the paper. And that was something new and that directly affected the way that I was constructing my circles. And especially when you have to do it freehand, it Test your patience a whole lot. Right now, I do hope that they get approved. <laughs> I submitted them. Um... So, it is six in the morning, Thursday, and I got an email, and it is from my atelier telling me they reviewed my work. So I'm gonna go make coffee and then I'll jump to the computer and then we'll see what those reviews are on my work. Kinda nervous about this. This is my first time making Cuban coffee. I can see why it has a reputation now. It's good. I usually drink all this, but I think I might just do it a cup. All right. So I got the results. So I'm gonna open my laptop and let's find out what they said. Feedback forum, here we go. And where did my posts go? It's an essay. Oh my God. 
Ugh. Okay, so this is what it says. Hi, Daniel. Welcome to the online atelier. I am Ian, glad to have glad to have you and looking forward to seeing your drawing skills develop. Excellent start on the circles. You did not see that. Oops. Your circles are looking pretty circular, but I am seeing in the initial steps leading up to the final stage, there's quite a bit of wobble and a bit of uncertainty between steps three and four. Your step one looks great and step two, you want to make sure that the second square is rotated perfectly 45 degrees to the first and is the same as in the first. All those triangles that emerge need to match as well. You're looking for a perfect octagon. At step three, instead of slicing at the points you mark, slice between those a bit more inward. You'll, no another, you'll notice another set of triangles that emerge does need to match as well. Here, you're looking for practice for a perfect decahexagon within the octagon. The final circle at stage four should not pass beyond the limits of the initial step one square. Also, a thing to pay attention to, contour. Cut the pen style eraser at a 45 degree angle and use a sharpened edge to really carve out the fine line even consistent contour. You can restate it with a harder pencil like a 2H to give it a fresh, super sharp look. Make sure to sharpen often. These spheres are looking good as well, but could improve further if you do the circle exercise again and try the ellipsis exercises as well. You're off to a great start, Daniel. Keep up the momentum, Ian. That's good. I'll show you what he was referring to. I actually worked it twice before submitting because I was nervous about it. So the very first thing that I had to do, once again, this program starts down with the basics. And I'm talking here line, construction, and once again, circles. <laughs> so the exercise was to construct a freehand circle. So you start with a square, and then you put another diamond and then you intersect those corners and then eventually that will give you the shape of a circle. So what he's talking about is, and I see it now that he pointed it out, um, my squares, it looks all right on this one, but it's not the same size as that one. And I can see what he's talking to the corners right there and a little bit of the wobbles. So I am seeing that. The second exercise that I had to do was sphere construction. So this one, you guys might've seen this up there on the board. Um, so it was basically applying the same principles as the previous lesson, getting to the circle and then um, finding the terminator, which is the widest point in the circle and finding a light source. So that's what these arrows are pointing to. And then just drawing a cast shadow right underneath. So I had a little bit of trouble with the ellipsis at the bottom. Um, drawing an ellipse freehand is a little challenging. Um, also, all my sizes are all over the place. So like all my circles are different sizes. So I can see what he's talking about there. Yeah, this is definitely like school. <laughs> so it looks like for the next week, I'll be reviewing and I'll be redoing all of these exercises. So another of the things that I've been doing is that I've been really reading this book that I also got the Classical Drawing Atelier and it is by Juliet Aristrates. I don't know if I butchered her name. So this book was not required to have with the program. There is another book of the same author that is recommended by Sadie Valeri to start with if you're having difficulties with certain lessons. So I do have that other book, but I actually started reading this one first because I had questions of why. So I had a lot of why questions. And this book has been really been answering those. So not right now, but eventually I will do another book review on this one and let you know whether or not you should buy it and what I've learned from this book so far. So until next time, this was the update for today and hope to see you around on Instagram. You can follow me at Danny Via Art and you can find me on Facebook under Danny Via Art as well. And also remember there are some 
prints and tote bags on sale at the Daniel Villa Art Studio website. And that is also danielvillaart.com slash online store. See you then.